Hello, my name is Cody Mathis. I'm an engineer here at Patch My PC. And today I wanted to talk about a new feature that we are adding to our publisher, and that is to be able to maintain the applications associated with a enrollment status page in Intune. So if you are unfamiliar with enrollment status pages, they can be found within Intune under the devices area and Windows enrollment. We can see we've got a button here for enrollment status page. Uh, so these let you create a profile that will get evaluated during device setup, um, you know, autopilot, for example, and it lets you kind of control the experience that will happen uh, during that out of box experience. And I have a couple created here. Uh, we're gonna look at the all employees one here, and I'm gonna show you the specific setting that we're hoping to manage. So. Right here, we see the setting block device use until these required apps are installed if they are assigned to the user or device. So in here, if we actually go to edit it, there's two options. You can either select all, which will evaluate all the apps, all required apps that are associated with the user or device, or you can do selected, uh, and then you can provide a specific list of apps. Uh, and so what we see with our customers is they do use the selected option. And the reason being, we've got two apps that we offer. We have the applications themselves, the base installs. Here we've got 7-Zip. We have the Google Chrome. And we also have Notepad++. So these are base installs. But we do also offer the updates, which we see here. We've got the update for Google Chrome. And the difference with the updates is that they do have a requirement script. We can see that can be found right here. And that just evaluates is a new version of Chrome needed, not necessarily a base install. Now, the problem is if these are widely assigned, which we do see customers commonly do, um, those widely assigned apps will get evaluated during autopilot with this enrollment status page. Not a great experience. If you've got a lot of updates created, you'd see 30, 40, 50, you know, wh however many apps get evaluated as part of this enrollment status page. So you go and you specify the apps you're interested in. Uh, now, now the hope is we can maintain these. I'm going to show you how that works. So I will show you that we also have our graphic designers enrollment status page here. And again, it's set to all. We don't have anything set for specific apps. So there are kind of two new options that this feature involves within our publisher. I will show you the right-click option. If we right-click on any of these apps, and then we look at the options here, we see we've got manage ESP profiles. And then within there, I can go ahead and see a list of our enrollment status pages here. And I'm going to look at the two here. For Google Chrome, I'm going to associate it with all employees. We also do show you an app count, and you can also refresh here, which we'll do later. I'm going to go and also select 7-Zip, same area, and then Notepad++. So these are apps that are already in the portal. As we saw earlier, they've been created but I'm just changing the configuration. I want to associate them with an enrollment status page. So I'm going to go ahead and apply those settings, and then I'm going to run a quick publisher sync, and we'll go ahead and pull up the log file. So this should be quick because we're not publishing any new apps. We are just going in and updating enrollment status pages. So if we look now in the log, we can see that we have identified two enrollment status page profiles in Intune. And if we look further down, we see where we actually check these for Google Chrome. So we see we've got our Google Chrome is already published as an application. And then we're gonna evaluate the associations that you have specified. And we see we updated the device enrollment configuration. And that same thing is true again for 7-Zip and for Notepad++. So we can now go into the portal. I am going to go back into the enrollment status page section. I look at the all employees one. And I'm going to scroll down. And what we should see, which it looks like it worked, we've got three apps. We now have 7-Zip, 
Google Chrome and Notepad++ all associated with our enrollment status page. And I can also right click on one of these and we see we've got a one here marked. And then I can refresh this view and that will query graph and we pull in that we have three apps associated with our all employees enrollment status page. So that does update right from graph. And then what we can also do, we do have that other option that I kind of mentioned before. We can see the new option here, update enrollment status page associations with new application when an updated application is created. So this feature is to maintain the ESP going forward. As new apps are released, we want those apps to be associated with our enrollment status pages. So with that checked, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and switch over to our latest catalog. And I am going to make sure we're publishing new versions of the apps to show off this feature. And while we're at it, I'm actually going to select paint.net now as well. And I'm gonna select our graphic designers enrollment status page, which we see currently has zero apps. I'm going to apply these settings. Uh, let me just do a validate URL real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and run a publisher sync. And we're just going to let this run, and then I'll be back when the publishing is done, and we'll review the changes. OK, so our sync has finished. Uh, and we can see if we scroll up a bit here. We'll go ahead and just kind of take it one of the entries in the log. So we do see a new version of Notepad++ got published, 7.9.2. And we do see that note as well about updating the device enrollment configuration. So what we're going to do is pull this up in the portal. Let's refresh our list of apps. And when we do that, we now have Google Chrome 87, Notepad++ 7.9.2. Uh, and the same version of 7-zip, no update there. And we did select paint.net, so we see that as well. And I'm going to also go over and we see our old apps here in our enrollment status page. So we're going to refresh this. And if we look, what we have now is 7-zip version is the same, but Google Chrome and Notepad++ both are now updated. We've got our version 87 of Google Chrome and Notepad++ 7.9.2. And if we go in and we look at our graphic designers enrollment status page, which we associated the paint.net one with, uh, we do see here we have paint.net. So we created a new app and associated it with the enrollment status page. Uh, and we can go back over into our publisher and kind of right click on one of these and GSP profiles. We'll just do a refresh. So this did increment to one and we still have our app count of three on all employees. So I think this is going to be a great useful feature for our customers. And we're automatically maintaining these so that if you have an enrollment status page that you're using for autopilot, you're going to always maintain that and have the latest applications associated with it so that when you set up a new device, you're getting new software, not outdated software that needs to be updated. Uh, so this feature was directly from customer feedback on our portal, ideas.patchmypc.com. Uh, we always try to work off of our customers' ideas and see what we can implement. And this one's in preview right now. Uh, so really hope this helps out some of you. And if you have any issues with it, or if you've got any ideas of your own, feel free to add them here at Ideas and let us know uh, anything that we can add that would help you out. Thanks for watching.